people are in the dark. They don't know what to do. I had a little lantern, oh, but it got brown out, blown out too. I'm reaching out my hand, I hope you are too. I just want to be in the dark with you, Greg Brown, in the dark with you. They change cars at five in the morning in Minneapolis in the airport's long-term parking lot. They drove to the top floor where the parking building was open to the sky. Shadow took the orange uniform and the handcuffs and leg hobbles, put them in the brown paper bag that had briefly held its possessions, folded the whole thing up, and dropped it into a garbage can. They had been waiting for ten minutes when a barrel-chested young man came out of an airport door and walked over to them. He was eating a packet of Burger King french fries. Shadow recognized him immediately. He had sat in the back of the car when they had left the house on the rock and hummed so deeply the car had vibrated. He now sported a white streaked winter beard he had not had not had before. It made him look older. The man wiped the grease from his hands onto his jeans, extended one huge hand to Shadow. I heard of the Allfather's death, he said. They will pay, and they will pay dearly. Wednesday was your father, asked Shadow. He was the Allfather, said the man, his deep voice caught in his throat. You tell them, tell them all, that when we are needed, my people will be there. Zernabog picked out a flake of tobacco from between his teeth and spat it out under the frozen slush. And how many of you is that? Ten? Twenty? The barrel-chested man's beard bristled, and aren't ten of us worth a hundred of them? Who would stand against even one of my folk in a battle? But there are more of us than that at the edge of the cities. There are few in the mountains, some in the Catskills, a few living in the carny towns in Florida. They keep their axes sharp. They will call. They will come if, they, if I call them. You do that, Elvis, said Mr. Nancy. Shadow thought. He said Elvis anyway. Nancy had exchanged the deputy's uniform for a thick brown cardigan, corduroy trousers, and brown loafers. You call them. It's that. It's what the old bastard would have wanted. They betrayed him. They killed him. I laughed at Wednesday, but I was wrong. None of us are safe any longer, said the man whose name sounded like Elvis, but you can rely on us. He gently patted Shadow on the back and almost sent him sprawling. It was like being gently patted on the back by a wrecking ball. Zernabog had been looking around the parking lot. Now he said, you will pardon me asking, but our new vehicle is which? The barrel.